afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, two men from opposite sides of the world have been irresistibly drawn together, their paths converging for this one chance of sporting glory. It's Northern Ireland's established champion against China's rising star. Two of this season's outstanding performers, but only one can rise to conquer in Telford. Days like these are why they play. Days like these are why we watch. Welcome to the final of the Johnson's Paint Players' Championship. Please welcome a young player in dreamland in Shropshire this week. He's beaten two of the all-time greats to make this his third ranking final of the season. What a moment and what an occasion for China's snooker panda, Zhang Ander. And to a player at the peak of his powers. He's won five big titles in the last two seasons. Champ of champs in November, shootout in December. And here he is, bidding for an 11th ranking title in a glittering, illustrious career. The pride of Northern Ireland, Mark the Pistol Allen. Stirring intros, great occasion. And this is what they're playing for. One of the game's most prestigious trophies. And a title that can open up so Stand many check, doors. Please. On the left, the favourite for the match. On the right, the story of the week. Thank you, Martin. Just hang on for one second. So many contrasts here. OK, yeah, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame... Not so much in style of play, but in their backgrounds, the way they've journeyed through their professional career. Mark Allen was an instant star in his first ever pro tournament. He beat two world champions. As for Zhang, well, it's taken him 15 years to beat an overnight sensation. Yeah, it sure has. What a final we have. Zhang Anda, incredibly, looking for his second massive title of the season. Let's hope he's well rested, he's got the better of... The great man last night, Mark Selby, just about on the stroke of midnight. Do you know what? That is a trademark shot with Zhang And I believe he's up there with anyone. That off straight red topping it through. Either holding for black or back for bulk colour. He's superb at that shot. What a start.
two key stats over the course of the week underline just how close Eight. these two are together. Not success rate. Alan just one percent ahead, and that's in the tournament as a whole, not just a, a single ah. match. Okay. As for tournament points, incredibly, we can't split them. Does have 16. a lovely touch around the black spot. He's had a lot of those thin cutbacks all week long. I can't remember him missing one. going through what 24. Zhang Ander stands to win today if he prevails. And it might be a good idea to try and ignore 25. that. To not find out. A place in the champion of champions, of course, next season is up for grabs for him. A trip to Riyadh for the World Masters of Snooker. If he wins today, he's on the flight. It's also seeding for the Tour Championship. You'd be in the top four on the one-year list and therefore 32. seeded into the quarterfinals. Plus, something that would make him very proud indeed, if he were to win this match, he'd move to seventh in the world rankings. By far, his personal best, and he would be the highest-ranked Chinese player. Replacing Ding. Thirty-three. Thirty-eight. Just looking at the reds, although they're quite loose they're sort of covering one another i like playing top side of blue off this red would be a nice target from the blue looks like the choice thirty nine perfect When you're playing this shot, it's almost, it's almost more about the cue ball. Losing the cue ball to either corner is the worry. So looking for a full contact. You see, you can lose the cue ball so easily in that shot. Anything around half ball contact. 44. Slips off to the side, so... Still has a red on, but... Far from easy. Just depend on what he thinks of the cannon off the cluster of six. If it's a thinnish cannon, then he'll take it on. This is a proper shot. <laughs> yeah, he didn't quite get the cover, but he played it in behind the green. <laughs> Hasn't put a foot wrong yet, young Ander. Every shot he's played has been pretty much on the money.
get to see him play a shot with side. <laughs> he didn't play all that many. Raising the butt a little. Just to help this round the corner behind yellow. Nicely unfortunate that the red found the impossible gap to come back up table, but no damage. Apart from maybe tight in behind yellow. Caught the red too full. He will be disappointed with that. One. When you pot a ball, you deserve more than that. Very good. Right into the heart of the pocket, but absolutely no position. Mark Allen won. He's been very circumspect all week, Mark Allen, just biding his time, keeping things tight. He refused a red early on against Ali Carter that... Thank you. Well, I was going to say surprised people. I think it astonished people. That's his game plan, though, to be cautious. That's the, the default position. Can Jan get through to that red nearest the corner? He can. Look at the cue ball. It's glued to the bolt cushion. This is a tough one. The fact that he's going to have to inject some pace into it. Got to get the pot bound to leave one. One. A secondary little flick off the other red <coughs> would have opened up everything, but it just skirted past the red, did the cue ball. Blue ball, thank you. Yeah, even this is smart. You know, normally there you'd think yellow to side cushion, but he's thinking blue to side cushion because it's a scoring ball, isn't it? Jang and what? He's very clever.
here's what he was looking for. The shot to perhaps something. Quintessential shot to nothing. Only the first frame of a potential 19, and already it's intense. Yeah, the quality of Chang's safety is there for all to see. He's got Mark on the run so far in the final. And there you are again. Just keep it simple. Plain ball, get the pot. Whatever will be, will be. And what is, is nice position on the green. So 48 in front with the green. So 12 points he'd obviously be looking for off the two reds in the open. I believe Mark needing a snooker, but that's a devil's own job. He's got to utilise pink if that's going to happen. shot you know to get the value of the brown which might be crucial was superb Still work to do. This mini break going up in small increments. Not incentivized to make the table open just in case. Just in case. And, uh, nine. and having developed the black, where the cue ball came to rest, was fortunate, Alan. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I was... Yeah, you want to be aggressive, you want to win it in the, the visit you're on, yes, of course you do, but... First frame in great position. 20 minutes in. Bossing it. I think they are just, just make sure of the pot. Don't try to do anything ex extravagant. Still, well in the box seat, of course, and that's a loose one from Mark to leave this red on. Done. 
He will need an extra red. After the ball killer he takes. Very low scoring frame this. Yeah, Brown to side cushion, you would think. Zhang, 54 ahead, but still 59 on the table. Yeah, the bramble. Yeah, the only thing with brown to side cushion, I suppose, if we might be playing the pot, but brown to side cushion near the blue, it makes it a big target. Either get in behind or open up later on if Mark gets a chance. Let's see then. He might pull the trigger on this. Looks like it. But look how clever he played it. He played the cue ball low of the blue spot so that Mark can't access pink or black off the red. Very, very smart. That's advanced stuff, that is. See, the red's no great use to mark. The cut to middle. Yes, mathematically, Allen retains hope. But the position of the ball's entirely against him. Playing the double kiss full ball. <laughs> One. Well, it's a flip, but it might not be any value to him. All right, he does have the green to numerically still be able to win the frame. It's going to be three blacks after potting the green. Simply had to be delicate to hold the cue ball. The red arrived at pocket weight. Just thinking, Alan, what a week it's been for unlikely flukes into middle pockets at ridiculous angles. I think we've had four. Yeah, that is, that's, uh, yeah, that's four that I can think of as well, yeah. That's such acute angles and some pace on them too. Not going to be much pace on this. This has got to go. He was slim hopes alive. <laughs> he 
probably try and move 12. the blue with the cue ball in this safety shot because he's pretty much guaranteed safe reds. Mark Allen, 12. Had other ideas and has got good cover. And whatever shot Zhang plays here, he's going to be playing it with some pace. Here's a half chance then for Mark. Right to left centre. If this goes in, all of a sudden, we have a decent chance to perhaps pinch the frame. One. He was watching that intently, it was heading towards the far jaw, but fell in. <clears throat> and now, Zhang's decision ages ago to get that blue safe it. is being vindicated. Not the best side of the table for a left-hander. No. Sixteen. Mm, it's not far away, is it, from the natural half ball? Flick the blue into the open. He wasn't quite on. Eight. I think the most important thing from here is get at least down to the blue. If he doesn't get on it, he's in control of the exchange that's going to come. Thank you. 21. He's not missed a pot. In this frame. Could he possibly pull off four more and start with a great escape?
25. Mark Allen, 25. Yeah, second prize, but he's obviously right back in this now. Can Jiang play the back heel? Kill the cue ball dead, cushion first. Prime has been in progress for 34 minutes. What an opener. More like a decider. Triumph of perseverance. Everything was stacked against him. If he could nick it, psychologically it would be far more impactful than if he won the first frame with a big century. Yeah, I mean, with, with four or five reds left that looked for all money, it almost looked a lost cause at one stage. So looking for a foolish contact to get separation with this, send the pink down this end. Uh, that'll do nicely. Zhang can see the pink. It almost feels like there's so much more pressure on the player who surrendered the big lead and faced with this type of shot. Can he find one more? Nothing. Zhang Ander is the one who draws first blood in this player's championship final. <laughs> At the snooker, Telford International Centre is the venue. The tournament is the Johnston's Paint the Players frame. Championship. Mark Allen to bet. It's a race to ten this. Not much of a race about the first frame, though. It took 37 minutes. You just get the overwhelming impression on that Manus it's going to be very hard fought, but Mark Allen there will be disgusted with his break-off. Whatever you do, don't hit the blue. Yeah. And I must confess, I was surprised when he potted the blue, Mark, that he didn't have a pass at the long pink. I mean, well within his range.
one. And I do think if he plays a more percentage style game today, Mark, it's not. I don't think it's going to wash with Zhang and it's, it's not going to affect him in the slightest. Well, in the first frame, in terms of potting balls, Mark Allen was immaculate. He didn't miss one. Knocked in 13 out of 13, but it proved unlucky, I suppose. Six. Yeah, that blue there, great pot. Obviously lost the cue ball. That that's the only real area where you could say he's not as dynamic, not as domineering with those type of shots. Like a trumper. Working around the table. Can he retrieve it with this one? What a tough shot this is. Oh, geez. Seven. That is superb. Shot of the final so far, that. And it's that feature of his game, isn't it, Alan? He pots them without 14. using any jaw. They just go in as clean as a whistle. 15. <clears throat> 22. Twenty-three. Thirty. It's a super shot as well. It had to be a glancing blow. He was never going to get them. Spray. 38. Terrific little shot, that. 39. Yeah, another nice one. How does a how does Zhang Ander <laughs> do what he's doing? He's been a pro. Well, he turned pro 15 years ago. Until this season, had never even played in the Grand Prix, the Players Championship, or the Tour Championship. Has never won a match 44. at the Crucible. And hasn't been there for eight years. <laughs> it doesn't seem correct, does it? Forty-five. And in those 15 years as a professional, he's been relegated three times, lost his place on tour.
It was put to him by Rob Walker. That a lot of people are surprised with how well he's playing. He said, me too. That's the best answer, isn't it, to be honest. Just roll with it. 50. Don't question it. There was another player this time last year had never won a match at the Crucible. Look at Brissell. Just saying. Fifty one. Okay, looking for good contact. Terrific shot. That's a terrific shot. Oh, lost the key ball. A tad, a bit unfortunate. Lovely shot, though. 58. Shades of frame one, good start, nice break. But may not be decisive. Although the red is close to the middle pocket, do not be confused. That's a, a horrible shot to have to play, especially with the cue ball so close to the side cushion. Fifty-nine. Just keeps knocking them in. Cleanly. Sixty six. Sixty-seven. Hold the back page. That one hit the jaw on the way in. <laughs> okay, the black. Pretty much nailed this. Second frame. Now, what a player. What a player. 74. Seventy five. Shame. 82. But the job is comprehensively done. 82 and a frame. Zhang Ander. One visit snooker from Zhang. And with that, he doubles his lead. 2 0. Another capacity crowd you, in this third afternoon. Frame. Zhang Ander to break. And so far, they've seen Zhang show why he could well lift this trophy later on this evening. You know, he was born on Christmas Day in this season. All of his Christmases and birthdays have come together in one.
Hard to believe, but if Zhang were to prevail today, he would take his prize money for this season to 68% of his career prize money. It's a little similar to what happened early on last night against Mark Selby. The fact that neither player so far and, and last night the same to that stage. They couldn't lay a glove on Chang and they were pushing Reds over either corner. He potted this red last night, the exact same one. All right, he's topping this one through. Again, he didn't try to overplay it. That's excellent. I don't know whether the black goes to right middle or whether he'd be even entertained taking it on. But the point is there, he doesn't, you know, he didn't try to pinch the pocket and try to do something that's not on. Just pot it and we'll deal with what comes next. The black will go. It's a very narrow pocket entrance, but the shot is available if he fancies it. Got this one as well, right in the middle. Eight. Even the way he accepts not being on the easy red to corner after fabulous black. The easy one am I? All right, okay. Let's put another difficult one to the same pocket. Nine. Fourteen. And he's off again, three open reds. A position off promise. Twenty-three. <coughs> Not quite as clean as normal there. Thirty. Get that into the thin portion of the pocket. That's why he was a little concerned the cue ball had travelled just a tad too far, but he's OK. Thirty-one. OK, now choice is deep on the cue ball to get the cue ball spinning back towards him. Or a punch through the left half of them. It was the punch. Still on one. But far from easy. Just got them a fraction thin. 38. A 
think it was a good good effort. He just wanted it uh, half ball, a bit thicker than half ball. He's got a fraction thin. Now, if he knocks one in here and gains position, that would be a little demoralising. For the man in his chair. Just isn't any sign at all of tension, occasion, nothing. Forty-six. Just, I mean, some of the shots in this break alone. Never mind the fact he's two 0 in front and bossing it. The black to centre, the red that followed it into the pack. No good. Long red, in it goes. Just continue on his merry way. Playing beautifully again. When finished at midnight last evening. Sixty-two detected a slight shoulder slump there, but I think he's he's all right. Yeah, he's absolutely perfect. I mean, even, even that last 63. positional shot—it's landed. <laughs> it's one of those where if it were the shootout or something, you'd ball in hand. That's exactly where you'd put it. So, looking for one more red. Push farther clear. Let's see if he might say a brush off the red and push the black onto the cushion here. He might come round and have a look at it. Just to make Mark's job more awkward. So the frame's still well and truly alive. Jang under 70. Mm, what does Mark do here? You know, running out of time in this frame, he, you'd think he's got to press and, and perhaps take the red on. loose at this level so 
Make sure. Eight. Nine. Not very often you make a 70 break and lose the frame, but it could happen here. Could well happen. These balls are sitting pretty. Yeah, new favourite for the frame. He just thought on the safety shot 60. by Zhang. He didn't, for once, have a long, en long enough look at what was on offer. Seven had a look at the, the red that he was almost touching. He could have, I think, glanced the black onto its own cushion and not leaving a red. So many positives for Mark Allen here. 23. One of which is that he's got latitude with colours. Twenty-four. Mark Allen, twenty-four. Frame conceded. And just like that, Frame Mark Allen out. needs a snooker. And... He concedes. A real blow there for him. Zhang Ander marches on. What an intriguing start to the final we witnessed. If you're just joining us, Zhang Ander, the outsider of two coming into this match, leads Mark Allen 3 0, breaks of 44, 82, and 70. As he tries to become the 42nd player with two or more world ranking titles. One of the 41 players already there, sitting next to me. Thank you. The fourth frame. Yeah, and I don't Mark think Allen anyone would have. Settle down, please. The Thank you. Wildest dreams are predicted that at the start of this season, but it's well, it looks more than likely at the minute he's bossing the final. And like last night against Mark Selby when he went 4-0 in front, he's got the other mark under serious pressure every time he comes to the table. It was most unlike, that, that miss by Mark on the black, most unlike him. It was a mini a D cell. Lots to think about. And now Zhang's playing thick off the pack. There are more problems, perhaps. Even, even the fact that he's playing that is a sign that he's so comfortable, confident. There's a... Tight to the bulk cushion again. In complete control at the mo moment as Zhang... I've been racking my brains all week, pretty much since he broke through. Zhang trying to think of a parallel where someone has been anonymous for over a decade and then suddenly burst through. In this sport, it just doesn't happen. And it's not a one-off, it's not an isolated incident. He's doing this at a number of events.
Let's pull up a chair, isn't it? At the moment for Mark. We've seen shooting stars before, players who come onto the tour and make an immediate impact. Alan, you achieved top 16 status within your first two seasons, which was a remarkable achievement. But to be down there in the qualifiers and the dogfights, and then all of a sudden to be thrust into the spotlight and handle it so well, it's incredible. Big frame this. Allen needs something to bolster himself going into the interval. And it was only last month when Zhang beat Allen 4-2 in the last 16 of the World Grand Prix. Made a 95 break in the first frame to announce his arrival and then just carried on in similar vein. We shouldn't get too down on Alan's chances, of course. He's got remarkable bottle and fighting qualities. As he showed when he won the UK Championship in 2022, he was 6-1 down in a match of identical length to Ding Junwei and ended up winning 10-7. But he needs to get going. It's not that Alan is failing in the potting department. The missed black at the end of frame three was the first pot he'd failed to knock in. 20 out of 21 so far.
and he's given Mark another serious problem to deal with. Yeah, it's not difficult to perhaps just nestle in behind the black there. As far as the aggressive return goes, there's not much on offer. deep screw back to bulk this is the first time I think he's changed it up slightly trying to throw something different into the mix and I think that's good right he's a little fortunate with the black covering the right half there but I think that's what he needed just give Jan something different to look at because at the moment He's not making any inroads in the exchanges. Because every safety shot pretty much Zhang under plays is finding the bulk cushion. Foul. And miss. Mark Allen. And after the slight change up, for once, Zhang's made a safety error. Didn't even look at the blue. The far corner. Right, it's a natural round the back of the yellow. He's playing with no rhythm at the moment. Six. Every time he comes to the tail, he's he kind of seen you know problems here and there. Seven. You might have got the cue ball zipping back up table, but it's no good. Mark Allen, seven. Ian Allen's two previous wins over Zhang. Scoring power has been there. He made two centuries in both of those matches, including a World Open encounter in 2019. So far today, Allen's highest break, 25. Sorry, messing with his cue a little earlier in this frame.
Chang could so easily have left. Plenty. He left nothing. It feels like such a key battle, this, doesn't it, with the mid-session interval looming. Understandable that both players are treading carefully. Worth a reminder that the Grand Prix final, Sullivan trailed 4-0, still won. <laughs> at the moment it, you know it never feels like there doesn't feel like a way back 4-0 of course there is it's such a key frame this one Mark Allen full. The crowd trying to encourage Mark Allen to find a spark. This is where he's different nowadays, Mark. You know. 25, 30 seconds been standing thinking about which one to play instead of thinking right oh lovely I've got a long red and it's going to go and I'm going to get about my work but a hesitancy but nicely done alright the cue ball's not ideal visit inbound six
seven. Thirteen. One thing that he's been uncompromising with in recent times, Mark, is he won't change his way of playing. Twenty. He has a, a deep-rooted belief that the method he's been adopting 21. the last couple of years, over a long distance, eventually, he'll get his man. He did, as Phil said earlier, that final in the UK Championship with Ding. So, it's safe to say you, you're not going to get him at it. You're not going to shake his belief that ultimately he's going to win this final. I suppose that is a strength, strength of character as much as anything. 28. A pro since 2005, Alan was all about hustle and bustle. For the vast majority of his career, he's not had a lot of quality table time in this match, but he's down at 31 seconds average shot time. And when this break 34. began, it was 33 seconds on average. Not the same player he was two or three years ago. He adopts a very different approach. 35. This is Manor from Heaven for Forty. Mark Allen. Get the cue on going. Make his presence felt. 41. Now, the fact that he stood having a wander, the, the red in the open, probably doesn't pass. We're not certain to put this frame away. Mark Allen. And that's 41. another D cell. Absolutely no reason why or how he can miss that. You can tell it was a D cell if he didn't get the cue ball back for the, the intended red, so. Still in this frame, well in it actually. With the red saw, it's going to be an enormous task to pull this one out of the fire. But just imagine if he did. Alan would go into that mid-session interval 
his mind wondering how on earth can I win this? That's an incentive in itself for Zhang to try and somehow salvage this frame. That's a clever shot. Push the red to the right wing, cover with yellow blue. That was the shot. You see, those are the little pattern shots that not all professional players see. Dead simple, super effective. It's a very substantial lead that, that there's no doubt. But there's lots of doubt in the mind of Mark Allen after what's transpired so far. Yeah, the red near the pink means that he'll feel he has to pull the trigger on this red. Perhaps because he's bound to leave that other one. He doesn't take this one on. Yeah, I can understand that. He didn't have a lot of 
appealing options on that occasion. So Mark has a chance to finally bolt the door shut in this frame four. Nicely done. The One. blue will take him 62 ahead. And so the next red will be frame ball. Six. It's fair to say Alan, the major feeling Alan right now is relief. He's off the mark. Yeah, absolutely. He's been under serious pressure pretty much the, all of this well. first four frame session. So the relieved man to get 13. And at the break, and Jang's had and enough. Frame. Mark Allen. It wasn't pretty frame four, but being 4 0 down would have been ugly for Mark Allen. He's avoided that. Nevertheless, Zhang is in control at the interval, leading by three frames to one. Please welcome back your two players, Zhang Ander and Mark Allen. So, so far in the final, Zhang Ander has continued his customary cool way through these frames. 3-0 it was. Mark Allen on the scoreboard winning the fourth. His highest break still only 41. Been bits and pieces you, from him. Things need to improve, five. clearly, Zhang Ander to in these next four. Still a long way to go. His first to ten who becomes player's champion this evening. Yes, it feels a very critical four-frame session for Mark Allen, especially, I think. He's got to try and break the spell that Zhang Ander seems to have over many of the leading players this week with his all-round brand of snooker. Rock solid. start for Alan to this frame you know it's all very well being a battler but at some point if he falls too far behind something needs to change clearly a phone just going off <laughs> One. He's starting to off again, silent, but he still potted the red. Yes, it's the curse of the phone just after the mid-session going off. And people have forgotten about uh, what they were told by Rob Walker beforehand. Didn't stop him, though, as you say. And the last bleep was on his backswing. <coughs> Eight.
Nein. Yeah, the referee in charge, Jan Vaas, he's actually setting his own record. It's his 39th ranking final in charge, one more than the great John Williams. Well, it's OK. Not straight behind this red to middle, which would be so 16. much better. He was coming across towards the black on it and of course the pot has to be taken seriously as well so you've got to be very circumspect on this next shot seventeen there was a problem, wasn't it? He, he knew he was hitting the black, but he couldn't do much with it. He could only get to the top of the cube. Well, he couldn't in any way do anything about the angle. He was coming into the black hat, so that's why the break ends. Foul. Well, he was so careful getting Can the rest in in the first place, but Mark getting it out, seven. he's caught a red. Only moved about six inches, Dave. Come on. <laughs> yeah, he done well until he tried to just get it out of the way. Ooh, bosh. Of course, it does give Mark Allen the option of putting Zhang back in, but I think he's interested in getting that cue ball in behind the yellow on the other side of that red up there. Quite a worry, I think. Finishing there, and of course, the four point penalty made no difference to any of that. I don't think it did. Maybe it opened up a gap that wasn't there. I think that ball. Is he taking this on? It's a big shot. Oh, the dreaded double kiss. I tell you, he'd have been behind the, the black had he potted the red. Probably worth the, the risk. He doesn't take many risks. But he thought the cube was going to go safe, but for hitting the red on the way back. Just looking to see if a red goes up into the green pocket. It's incredibly tight if it does. There you see it. But even then, I don't think he can get position on the black ball from it very easily. Maybe he's giving it a go. Played it off. What a shot. One. If he's on the black, it's a brilliant shot. <laughs> it's all about position because he's got to be on the hot shot reel, I think, if he's on the black. And that's how to engineer a chance out of absolutely nothing. Yeah, he's been looking for something Eight. to change the tide in this match. Maybe it's that one shot. But obviously, it's only significant if he now makes a break off the back of it. Ties break so far, just 41. Nine.
16. Seventeen. Well, he was playing quite close across the face of the black, so he had to get the pace dead right. He's not happy. He's a big shot. He's really awkward, actually. Not really a left-hander shot, and of course he uses a most right-handed, so he's going to look uncomfortable on this shot. Very uncomfortable. This is his 19th ranking final, looking to win his 11th title. That would put him in 10th place on the all-time list, just one behind his good friend Sean Murphy. Thank you. 25. Six of them would have come since late 2021, so he has been ultra consistent these last couple of seasons, getting to finals, winning tournaments, and some of those finals he had to dig himself out of trouble. Four one down to Joey Long in Belfast, of course six one down to Ding at the UK Championship final last season. Very uncomfortable. I don't know what happened there, but he was straight up leaping 30. up in the air. It's a pity because he'd done well. He, he's a terrific red and he, he'd worked so hard to get himself into this break. Only 30, but he kind of felt after this shot, which was a very well improvised shot, that if he could make something from this, win the frame, it would be a big feather in his cap. But now it's gone wrong. It's only 20 in front. It's not really, really made a ripple. No, one of his best qualities, Mark Allen, is definitely his positional play. Keeping tight in behind every object ball, and it's just slightly gone away today. Well, he's looking at this plant. I don't think he really wants to play it. Mean, he'd love to just keep this break alive somehow. It's difficult, that. It's just not unnatural. And of course, the worst scenario would be to play the plant and leave the frame up for Zhang at the end of it. He may well get it, but I tell you, this would be a very awkward plant from where he is. Not playing it. Mark Allen, 30. I do think one of the aspects of Zhang Ender's game, which I wouldn't say it's gone unnoticed because we're seeing how well he's potting and scoring, but his safety looks to be the equal of all of these pretty seasoned, tough match players.
Yeah, not much to choose on that score today. Did come under pressure, was put under pressure last night, of course, by Mark Selby, but ultimately responded. So far today, he's looked really fresh, hasn't he? You know, it was a late finish, but come out, just played the way he plays. I was going to say he's fortunate, but does his red cut back? It's very thin if it, if it does. Jang seems to have gone straight towards it as if he thinks it will pot. Yeah, from that angle, it looks gettable. Thin. Well, Mark seemed to be two or three times in the course of that break uncomfortable with the table, a couple of the reactions. Are we going to see anything like that from Zhang? I've not seen him disappointed with the conditions once yet. Seemingly a fairly big moment, I think. Alan was in first. Seven. Depends what Zhang Ander can put together here. Eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Chang Ander, only the second Chinese player to reach at least three ranking finals in a season. Ding did that a decade ago when he actually won five titles. He's a little close to everything. He may have a red to right middle, but the balls are close 21. together, as I say, and it makes it more difficult. I mean, the push shot is definitely a possibility here. It's pushing straight onto the red. Goodness, no push shot, but... Changanda, uh, 21. In trying his best not to, he just misjudged it. One. Yeah, good part, big shot that. And now he's back in, points level. Surely a big, big chance for Mark Allen to pull another one back. And, you know, he's not been at his best yet. If he could make this 3-2, then that's a great result for him. Six. 
good to see him go on the attack there. Surely that's how he's going to ultimately win this final. Seven. Yes, he's worked out that all three reds are going to be required. Now he's taking the blue here. Thirteen. Again, there's something that is not making him all that happy with the way the balls are bouncing from cushions, but I'm not seeing too much myself because he didn't play yesterday. He's had a day off. Trent. Twenty-one. He's off straight, and he can punch down the cue ball to the other side of the green. I think will be the key to get down the table to be on that red. Took a bit of doing because he wasn't that far from being straight, and now he needs a colour. Twenty-seven. This red. Well, it was a red to this pocket that got him back in, in this frame. And as I say, it's encouraging for Mark Allen and his 20. supporters that even though he's not yet really hit the heights, he's only behind, assuming he knocks this blue in. Thirty-three. Two snookers required. Mark Allen. Allen trying 30. to lay one himself. Interesting shot selection. I think a lot of players would have taken the double on because he's still got fear that this frame could go against him. But he hasn't quite got the snooker. It's it's only a small swerve. So there you have it. I wonder if Mark might have doubled that. I would have fancied him on that yellow to actually get the double had he played it. Probably would have ended the frame. Always a chance of going around the back of this. Very good, very good. He, he could actually, if he's on the yellow, gone to the point where he takes yellow, green and brown and gets one on the blue. But I don't think where he is, that's likely. the angle. <laughs> Very difficult shot to get.
Yes, and now he's in trouble himself. I thought he was going to land in right behind the black there. I know, I was thinking the same. Especially with Mark having refused the yellow again. And the cushion. On the previous shot, that is. You almost wonder who it was who needed the snooker if you're just watching this. A terrific shot again. Foul. Mark Allen. So, just eases pressure, I guess, a little bit. 36 in it now, 27 on. Much taller order for Zhang. Two. Yeah, it looks okay for getting the snooker. I might have wanted to see if he could get the green right down the table by the black ball, but I'm not sure now that he can. It's just a question of getting the snooker as and when he could possibly do so. And it's tight. I think that's the reason Mark Allen tapped the table is absolutely nailed in behind this brown ball but the good news of course for Mark is three snookers that he needs Jang so uh, got a little bit of leeway here won't be called a miss Jaganda four. Well, there's four of them back.
Got a chance this. One of those, he would have been snookered, but he would have had the three points. Yeah, I think the, thing, the rule still applies here that Zhang, if he could pot green and brown, of course not here. He would try and get the snooker further down the line. It's just one on the blue to tie and one to win on the pink. Five point and six point penalties. But as it stands, he needs a couple. nothing else he's making him earn the frame you know it's nearly nine minutes since Mark Allen potted that blue with the terminology is frame ball but the frame isn't over yet yes and he had two opportunities to, to pop the yellow one was the uh, double one was the yellow along the cushion I understand why he didn't because he thought maybe that Zhang would pop a few more balls and get the one snooker on the high value but He's quite cautious, Mark. Kind of one of the reasons he's been very successful. He's not going to want to change here today. But he could still come unstuck. Thanks, Mark. Nice. Let me put back. I don't actually understand the need for the referee to look down the line of this shot. But he's not going to be replaced. Just stepping aside for Jan to look at the shot, which, as I say, you can't put back anyway, given that it's a snooker required. Actually, that blue could be in a, a decent spot now for snookers. Honestly, it wasn't worth the wait. He took ages looking at that. His opponent wants two snookers. I didn't want to overcomplicate these things, Mark. He needs to put a ball or two more and the frame's over. I'm not sure how he ended up coming up with that shot Three. after all that looking. He could pop the, the brown here, and as I said earlier, it is one snooker then to tie. Seven.
Changanda, seven. Jumpy, isn't he, today, Mark? <laughs> as soon as he hit that ball, he got up quickly, as, like a few others in this frame. He looks slightly ill at ease out there. around the back oh. of it. Mark Allen. So, again, the pressure just eased a little bit. 28 in it now. With 18 on. But it's a lot of mental energy Mark Allen is using up here in a frame that kind of felt 15 minutes ago he'd won. He's not gone for a ball yet since uh, the snooker snookers were required from uh, Zhang. He's not gone for one ball since then. Had a couple of chances too, not many. So, should be end of frame now, yeah, at last. Frame conceded. Yep, it is. Frame Mark Allen. Gave it a go, didn't he, there, Zhang Ander, but it is Mark Allen who wins his second successive frame. They both took a bit of winning, but he narrows the gap to 3-2. Zhang Ander. We've got three more to play here this afternoon. 3-2, it was 3-0, of course, to Zhang. Thank you, frame six. Mark Allen to break. So Alan, without necessarily hitting the heights, has found a way back into this match. I think with Zhang, though, and it's one of his strengths, he gives nothing away from his demeanour. You wouldn't really know how he's feeling. No reactions at all to anything so there's no sort of visual clues for his opponent or anyone else for that matter because let's be honest we know when some players have got the needle <laughs> you can tell but not with him I'd agree, although at five all last night, he, he didn't so much show any emotion. He just looked completely demoralised uh, against Mark Selby. Went out, came back uh, a new man, won the decider. Pretty good style, actually. Well, the long red here. And it's not really his strong suit. Yes, he's been potting long balls in this match in a week, but not quite the same amount as some of his opponents. It's when he's in, he's so dangerous. Now, you won't be sure that he's about to crunch it in. You have to take it on. I think the extra bit of Speed required on most long pots is not something that his cue action allows. 
is the nice stroke when he's in that he's especially good at. Mark Allen were to win, he would, uh, for now, gain a top four seeding for the Tour Championship. There is another ranking event in between, a big one in China, the World Open. Zhang, either way, is looking good for the top four, which means they'll be seeded through to the quarterfinals, where the guarantee is 30,000. Feel unlucky there, although you just don't know what's going to happen when you miss those. And the fact that it just glanced off the black on the way back down the cross is the reason it's over the hole now. See, on the way back, it just grazed the black. One. Yeah, you heard the groan from the audience. No good. Not on the black. Yellow pop. Under So uh, where Zhang Ander has been putting his opponents most of the week. Now it's his turn. He's going to have to try and find a shot here. Maybe a containing shot. Didn't want to risk getting the cue ball all the way back up the table. And it's not a very good containing shot. He hasn't contained him, basically. Red potable up into the green pocket. One. Yeah, we have been perfect here, back, didn't we? He was in all the way. Very good red. I mean, yes, it was on, but the queuing down on the ball like that. Eight. It's easy to lose your accuracy. It's a very well played shot. Nine. Well, if he can now be scoring, then, you know, good chance actually to end the afternoon in front. Nice break 41. He's still only 3 2 down.
he's very 16. lucky there. Because uh, not only can he get through to the red still, despite getting too close to the bunch, he can actually play it with centre ball striking. Didn't mean to finish in there. 17. If he can just calm himself down, he, as I say, he's a bit edgy, a bit jumpy on shots. The odd ball has reacted in a way that he didn't expect. He has leapt up in the air. But as you say, he is inching his way back into this match. Having trailed 3 now. Twenty three. Thirty. Very nicely played. A lot of cue ball had to travel far enough there, and he's landed it absolutely a one. Thirty-one. Into the pink, presumably, full on. Pink, then we'll go into the reds. Should spread everywhere. There's always that worry on that shot. The reds are going to go in, some it's going to be knocked in and a couple went to, towards opposite corner pockets. It's been a heart-stopping moment here. All was well. Good shot as well, the way he got them open. to play the top bed of the two and it only just passes the other one. It offers better position. So clearly the right shot to play with the black available. What a chance for the frame. grew up in Northern Ireland, which, has, of course, has a proud snooker history. Forty Alex Higgins and Dennis Taylor, two legends, two world champions. Their victories, though, before he was born. So his family told him all about them. He will know all about them. But what he benefited from, and it's because of those guys, is the great amateur scene that was there, the junior scene. He had so many events to play in. He won all... Northern Ireland national titles at every age division. He won the European juniors, the European amateurs, the world amateur. So by the time he turned pro, he was already a winner. He was used to collecting trophies. Forty-five. Fifty. 
51. Yeah, with the yellow the up and down across that part of the table, it's pretty simple now. Yeah, that'll be okay. He played into an area where 56. it would have been highly unlikely that he wouldn't have been on a ball. He shot that. It didn't look like he could see it in the whole pocket with the other red there. I think there's a... a definite sign that his approach has become a little bit more forthright, positive. I think Zhang Ander has had 64. this way of making players like Selby and Allen and Higgins almost 65. have a rethink. <laughs> Kind of bring them out of their shells with his own style. I think Alan knows that the way things were going and the way the match had developed the first few frames, he was going to lose and this. 72. He started to play a few more shots. 73. Been a good break, this. Very good. From that long red up into the green pocket from the containing shot that didn't contain. Yes, and as well as Zhang has played this week, and he's played brilliantly, he hasn't beaten anybody easily. Decider against Nop and Senkarm, 6-4 against Higgins, of course, there was a comeback there from 5-1 down. 81. For John, and of course, last night, 4-0 up to Selby, only just got over the line in the decider. He was 3-0 up here, but this is going to be level. I think what will concern him is how it's gone level. This is much better from Allen. I mean, let's not forget, first match against 87. Mark Williams this week, he made three centuries on the spin, including that 1-4-6. 88. And he's poised to make a fifth century of the tournament in this sixth frame. 95. 96. So he's battled hard to get in back into the final. And now with the blue a century. One hundred and one. Hundred and one from Mark Allen. And a friend. By far Mark his Allen. highest break of the afternoon. And from 3-0 down, he's levelled the final at 3-3 with two left to play. So 3-3. Three, three. Uh, Mark Allen significantly winning that frame in one visit. 101. Two left to play this afternoon. Long way to go before we find out who's our champion. It is first to ten. Thank you, frame seven. That will collect the trophy and the £125,000 first prize. I think four each would be a result that Mark Allen would be pretty pleased with having trailed 3 0. I and mean, you did mention the point that he could end up leading, of course he could. And that would be a pretty horrendous outcome for Zhang, because he was all over him early on. But I wouldn't write him off doing something himself in these couple of frames. What we saw last night, I and mean, had so much respect for how he at 5-all, having picked himself up from a position where he looked like he was going to win the match against Mark Selby, looked absolutely crestfallen, but then came back and made that 50 break. So you're not putting anything beyond him, I think. You'd be fall 
foolish to do so. There are too many results stacking up that he's had for anyone to think he's anything but a very tough opponent. I think it's the newness of it that makes it makes him hard to play. You know, Alan is he's used to battles with people like Selby and O'Sullivan and Robertson Trump. He's played Zhang before, but only one meeting this season since Zhang became a, a winner. Meanwhile, that wasn't so hot from Alan. I mean, just the final thing I'll say on that point. I mean, Mark Selby was way ahead on the head-to-heads. Jang had never beaten him. 5-0 going into yesterday, but you didn't think that meant anything because he's a different prospect now to what he was over the last 10, 12 years or so. Different player. Now, what's he got here? He's a little short of pace. And there really was quite a lot of room down that Six. left channel to just get, get onto the red by the blue or even something else. Not a great shot, that one. Try and pop the red to middle, but the key wall you know, is complete guesswork as to where it might finish. That's a very clever shot. It's much more difficult to play into the right corner than to the middle, which is what he meant when he played the, the shot before. It's an awkward angle to find. That'll do him, I think. Black looks tied up. 16. Entirely sure whether there's any room to put it into the left corner. At the moment, he can't quite get on it, but it might be for future reference. Now the black won't go from where it is. Seventeen.
Yes, I think he feels that this side of the blue, he can just reach this without using the rest, perhaps. Although, 22. He's still got to reach for it. The rest it'll be. Tough shot. Yeah, it is not easy. Changanda, 20. He sort of meandered through that break without ever looking like he was with the same intent as earlier. It makes such a difference when the cue ball's having to travel, when the black's not available, and there the head came down for, for Changanda. That's uh, quite a display of emotion, actually. I think his concentration has been lost slightly. It's sort of certainly. Losing three frames in a row doesn't exactly uh, clear the mind. Well, he's going to get another opening here. Yeah. Black is completely glued next to a couple of reds, however, which, of course, is not in Yang's favour. It's quite att attritional stuff, and uh, as I say, these two players in this big final, and it's a very big event, this. Big prize money, lots of other factors, spin-offs. But it's just a, a slightly flat few moments, very big frames though. One. I don't think it's anyone's uh, desire to win that can be sort of exposed or doubted. It's just sometimes the way a session goes, just lose your cutting edge. At worst, he's got the red to right corner, which is not uh, Six. very easy to get on a colour from. Surprised he went into them there. It usually, it would play on the loose reds, and I wish there were a couple. Seven. I think you made the point with the, the previous break. The cue ball is travelling, Dave, at the moment, and it's not under any real control. He's chiselling away, getting points, but he's not really on top of things. It wasn't the cleanest pot there, either. Someone who's set all week been knocking him in the middle of the pockets. Ten. Yeah, it just makes a big difference, doesn't it? The black, it completely buried. Pink's not in a great spot, really. So having to keep travelling back for blue, or in that case, just overdid it, took a bolt colour. Eleven. <laughs> well, the pink has been promoted there. That will help. Black has moved, but not into a great spot. But the pink is now in open play. Yeah, and get himself quite a big lead here, anyhow. Whether he goes all the way in the frame at this visit, you know, he can get himself into a large lead. Sixteen. 
70. So I was wondering exactly what went to left corner and the red that's just by the black spot is one of those. 23. They have the shot to just land behind the black. And of course that would open everything up. The black spot would then be free and the red next to the black could be the key shot in the frame. Philly has to play it as well even though he's in front. Well, he didn't want to take that risk. I 24. suppose it might be the fact that he's in front. Had he been 45, 46 points behind, maybe the black would have been the gamble he had to take. But he might just feel that he can get the frame one without bringing the black out. But there's still more work to be done. So the left-hand red of the three is going about this in a slightly Third. unusual way. Thirty-one. Just got there, top side. A couple of reds above the black spot. Certainly one of those is available. That's a good shot. Thirty-six. So Mark Allen dominated the previous three frames, but Changand is two pots away here from Going back in front. Shaping up to be some evening, I think. It's going to be a battle tonight for the trophy. Because whatever happens in the last frame of the afternoon, it's going to be close. Obviously, Alan would love 4-4. Four, four. But even 5-3 down, it's anyone's. Forty-two. It's a forty-two break of uh, the hardest work and the, the greatest effort you'll see. Forty-three. Can still make a century, and with this pink, it would have to be reds and blacks. And that would be some break. Important frame for him, certainly to fall behind. 49. Going into the last frame of the session, that would have been quite disheartening, I think. Now he's going to end up playing the black, which he could have played on a good while ago, with the frame already won. 57. Well, 
Playing on the pink, so that means century is not an option now. Well, he, he puts a good ball, but this would be a little bit special if he can knock this one in. Well, a real dogged effort that was, not it, from Zhang at 64, having lost three frames in a row. He's back in front with one to play this afternoon, leading 4-3. So we've got one more frame this afternoon, and then a big night ahead here in Telford this evening in this Thank Players' you, Championship and final. All final the signs the are it could be... A closely fought Mark battle Allen to the end. Zhang Ander leads Mark Allen 4-3. Zhang's just made a 64 to win frame seven. I think this is, uh, if it is close tonight, is reward for the fans who've turned out this week in Telford. It's been sold out most sessions, really well attended. We haven't had a tournament here since 2010. Good news is we will be back next year. Yes, he's just gone around the back of the yellow, if you like, just leave an edge. Ball's width to the left, it would have been quite troublesome where Zhang has been left.
just the one red on the left side. I'm sure we can get across to the right side of the scattering of reds. Already the bout of safety we're seeing is just pushing a few reds down the table around the black and beyond. Your safety is uh, pretty watertight for the most part. It seems to make it very difficult all the time. He gets the pace of the shots right. Many an opponent this week has been glued to that bolt cushion for long periods. It's a real hard match Luca that he's playing. battle the safety duel has been won by Zhang Ander in no uncertain terms not an easy first red but Mark Allen has lost out there all about getting on the color really than the red it's hard to get out of where he is and he doesn't have huge amounts of Q power This will put his cue action in, under the microscope a bit. Uh, done well. One. Didn't have a lot of revs on it in that cue ball, but it did find a way up towards the blue. played there. I think most players on the tour would have played that blue to middle. Six. Really a, not a shot he's got a problem with and also he chipped the red away from the black spot. Seven. And that could come in very handy further down the line getting that black free. So the shot on the blue was very good was underrated that shot could go into the reds but I think he's eyeing up the, the couple of loose ones that he's got within his sights problem he's got is the left hand red on the cushion he's in the way of the line to come up and down for the loose red, so that's the other reason he might go into these chances arm. <coughs> Goodness me, both reds have covered Five. each other. That is unlucky. It's where the game's cruel, you know, he's played a very aggressive shot, a positive shot there, trying to get everything into play, but just not landing nice at all. He's still got a red, but it's a thin shot going away from all the action with the cue ball. And at 12, Mark Allen, four. Now, as we see the in-off again, because he's opened the reds up, so can Mark Allen get in here with one good pot? If he does, these could be his. Could be a big moment, this, at the end of the afternoon. <laughs> There's 
There's the clock since the last part. 27 minutes from Mark Allen. This is, uh, it feels like a big shot, this. It was a big visit. This opening red, it did not touch the sides. So now he can benefit in a way from uh, what Zhang Andu has offered here. He's got the table open, Zhang, and he was unlucky. It's not Mark Allen's concern right now. Well, with his close control, you know, you fancy him here, but it's easy to say that. I think it's just the next red that he's on. He's got a bit too much angle on the, the pink for his the comfort here. I have to play all around the angles. Oh, goodness me. He's got, I don't know if he, if he played directly up and down or, or what, but the cue ball completely Seven. arced into a... The jaws of the pocket, basically. Here it is again. The cue ball is absolutely banana up there. Surprised he took that up, that option. I know he's capable of that sort of shot, but it wasn't very helpful where he's finished. Mark Allen said. I don't say he's covered the, the red by the black. Is, the, is it in the Big moment. <laughs> well, he can get through to it. And he wouldn't have been uh, deserving of the black being in the way. how that can happen the black wasn't really in the way but it feels like it is sometimes you change your line it pots into the middle of the pocket that ball I think the other thing here is it's the last frame isn't it the afternoon if we just carried on it wouldn't quite feel as big but Going to set the tone, uh, maybe, for when the players go back to the hotels. Good pot with the rest. Yeah. He had missed uh, with the rest, but that was one of the, the best one. he's potted. So, Mark Allen straight back in. There you go, eight out of eight. his hands to level up and effectively make tonight another best of 11 which of course is what we've had all week six Seven. Twelve. 
fat. Thirteen. Well, our chance to take the make the most of this chance, and as I say, I'm not sure if he was lucky or not on that last visit where he, the black was kind of in the line for Zhang, but he should never missed it. The, the red that he hit the black on the way through to. Eighteen. It's more of a distraction than anything else, perhaps. That's all. Oh, goodness, he's miscues. What's 19. going to happen next? Almost like the, someone had taken the tip off his cue or something, the noise it made. Wow. Well, the frame's very much alive now after that. I think he was trying to do a lot with the cue ball there. Not as if he's playing a deep screw or something. He just totally mishit it. Now it's end of break. Bramble. Mark yeah, that was odd. Pushed the ground so fierce. She's only 18 in front. Certainly, if he doesn't win the frame now, Alan, he'll think about that, I'm sure. He was just playing up on the pink. I'm really not sure how that miscue ever happened. Yeah, you pointed out the time he put the brown safe, but uh, a bit early in the frame to be doing that, maybe that was just the consequence of the safety shot, but I think it was an intentional effort to put the brown safe. There's nothing in the frame really still. that the brown being safe could be completely against Mark Allen by the time they get to the end of these reds.
Five. Oh, that's okay. I think. You've gone too far or not. Yeah, you're kidding. He has. He's just gone too far. There's always a tendency for the cue ball to end up close to the right cushion. No. Not playing ball. That's painful. That is painful. They saying that the brown is going to be shifted out. It's been a hard watch this frame, and we know what it means for both players. But the, under five. the miscue kind of has thrown the frame out of kilter a little bit that Mark Allen had when he was sure to win it, it seemed. The way that he was showing a little bit more. Yeah, you do get this sometimes, the last frame of the session, in theory, shouldn't be any more important than any others, but it often feels that way. Just because there's going to be a gap of a couple of hours until they start again. Well, he was looking at that with some concern, and... Uh, Mark Allen, in this frame, started to make some unexpected errors. Yeah, he was willing the black to the cushion. He's got to those kind of lengths, Mark, in this frame now. Changanda overcuts the red. It's a nervy end to the afternoon, this. No Six. good. Put himself out of position there. Unlike him with his cue ball controlled, being so offline. That is a good recovery shot, however. Seven. And now he gets from colour to red. So we're just approaching three hours playing time. Still in the balance. Still not missing with the rest though. Ten. Yes, pink, 30 in front, and then of course a red and a pink would be enough. It's a bit straight on this though, so you can't get all that close to the red. Just off straight. It's got 
the angle to run it around two cushions, perhaps. Seventeen. Mark Allen, seventeen. And I think he played it in quite a positive way. He tried to take the cue ball out onto his colour. But the frame's not quite over. Very close to that, he got. Yes, he can. A beautiful shot. And you see the, the problem he's got is uh, the black up there at the end Seven. of it all is going to be potentially the last ball, although 23 behind, I can't see a way that he won't end up needing it. That's something to worry about later on, maybe. Not quite now. In the meantime, red-pink... You get up towards the yellow, things are starting to happen in this frame from nowhere. Eight. It feels an enormous frame if he could steal this. Because quite honestly, he's never looked like winning it from the chances he had. But now, all of a sudden, he's finding a bit extra. Blue is in an awkward spot. If that wasn't there, getting onto the yellow down the right side would be so easy. He's filled it the natural path onto the yellow is where the blue is. Is there any way you could play the little nudge on the black here? I'm not saying it's the right shot, a full ball on the black. We leave the brown upward, but half ball on the black to bring the ball out and get on the brown. It would be the dream shot. Nineteen. I'm not too sure whether he played it or not, but the problem with the black is still there. It ain't going away. No, it looks like it's all going to be about pink to black here for Zhang Andet. Landing nicely enough on it to give himself every chance of knocking it in for a 5-3 lead. 23.
28. Now, well, there's a couple of frames last night where Zhang clawed his way back into them against Mark Selby, down to the final ball or two, but still lost them. But you can't argue with this tenacity. This is the shot. This has got to go. 34. Well, it's going to be a safety shot after all of this. No reason why he can't make it a good one, though. Changanda, 34. So, the final frame of the afternoon comes down to the final ball. I mean, these are always difficult shots. There, there is the temptation to play the double it into the, the left corner if there's no other shot available. But... That is the thing that can go wrong on that shot. It's not a sitter by any means. No, it looked like it might be easier. Settle down, please. Thank it's you. It's ended up this black. But he knocks it in all the same. And it means when they resume at 7 o'clock tonight, they will be all square. What a dramatic finish to the afternoon. Mark Allen was 3-0 down. Knocked that black in and leveled the final at 4-4.